Okay, I think I'll get started. My name is Mike Dillard, Assistant Teaching Professor for the School of Public Affairs and Administration and Director of the Undergraduate BA Program here at SPA. It's really good to see everyone. Uh, I just wanna you know, take this opportunity just simply to say thank you, particularly to our community partners, our internship site supervisors. I wish that simply this was the Price is Right show so I could just simply say, come on down and receive your prize. But obviously in the midst of a pandemic, you know, I just wanted to at least somehow figure out a way to bring everyone together. To not only just simply thank you, if everyone can make sure you're muted, uh, not only just simply to say thank you for impacting the lives of our undergraduate students, but really the role you play as mentors, the role you play in terms of guiding our phenomenal students. Uh, you know, when you really think about service learning or, you know, internships and the, the significance of internship opportunities, it starts in terms of the overall professional development. And that internship experience connects the dots for our students. It allows our students to really understand nonprofit organizations, the way in which government works, uh, you know, to really kind of understand the organizational structure of a nonprofit organization. And that's the role that you're overall playing. Uh, we've had success over the years in terms of our internship program that we offer here at SPA. I begin to think about recent graduates, uh, one being Catherine Plymel, who not only finished up her undergraduate degree here at SPA, but also finished up her master's in public administration. And she certainly took advantage of the internship opportunity. She had you know, a chance to intern over at the Boys and Girls Club in the city of Newark. And through that internship opportunity and experience, she landed a full-time job working in the HR department. And from there, she continued to keep growing throughout the years. To this day, she is now currently second in command for the Newark Boys and Girls Club uh, location, serving as chief operating officer. More importantly, I think of another recent graduate that we've had, Samantha Washington, who took advantage of the internship opportunity and interned with Congressman Donald Payne Jr. And she's now a part of the staff full time and returning that opportunity to a number of our students by reaching out in terms of offering our students internship opportunities. But it doesn't just simply stop just there as it relates to our recent graduates. And it doesn't also just stop there as it relates to our internship site supervisors. Here at the School of Public Affairs and Administration, we consider ourselves as a family. And part of that family, it takes a village to impact the lives of the students. And it starts with the Dean of the School of Public Affairs and Administration to the faculty, as well as the staff that have taken that invested role in impacting the lives of our students. So uh, without further ado, I would like to have Charles Minifield, Dean of the School of Public Affairs and Administration to offer a welcome and introduction. Charles. Sure, hello everyone. I do hope you are doing well this evening. It's always exciting to see students um, and staff uh, together in a, a space. Uh, it is a pleasure. When I saw this meeting on my calendar, I thought, man, I haven't seen any students for a while, so this will be a nice uh, change from what I'm accustomed to. For those of you who have never met me, uh, as Michael just pointed out, I'm the dean of the school. I do know a couple of faces. I do know Taylor. Um, I haven't seen the other faces on here that I recognize right offhand that um, I saw maybe some of you joined later, but nonetheless, welcome. Uh, Michael said it correctly when he said that we are a family. I love to use that phrase a lot. And I like to use it because we're all in this thing together. We're, our job is to help you be successful. The hardest part, in my opinion, of getting a college degree is getting into the university. Now that you're in, that's your sign that we believe that you're gonna be successful. It's our job to provide you with the tools necessary for that to occur. So the staff that's on here, Alyssa, uh, I see Sharon, Jane's on, uh, Michael, our job is to help you be successful and that's what we're gonna do. So if you ever need anything from any one of us, feel free to reach out. If you ever need anything from me personally, don't hesitate, Taylor can um, give you firsthand um, a first-hand recommendation on that. Uh, I met her through one of our alums 
And he said, hey, she needs some help. And that's exactly what we did. And I think she was satisfied with the service and became um, a spa student shortly thereafter. So welcome, welcome. Uh, again, I have an open door policy in non-COVID times, but I still uh, like to see students. If you ever decide you have some time during the lunch period, I tend to go out to lunch every day. I send this right, offer a lot and people don't tend to take me up on it. But if you're free for lunch and you're around, pop in at the last minute and say, hey, uh, you said if I was ever around and want to go to lunch, if I'm available, we can do it. So I love to hear about you, hear where you're from. I'd be happy to share my story too. So we can we can become what a real family looks like by getting to know each other. So if you need anything, don't forget, I'm your guy. All right, enjoy the rest of the program. Thanks so much, Charles. And take him up on that offer, by the way, because he's a man of his word. So definitely stop up on that second floor and knock on the door. Uh, so without further ado, I wanna also turn this over to Sharon Stray, who serves as our director for the Office of Public Engagement, Sharon. Thank you, Michael. Uh, hello, everyone. Good evening. It is definitely nice to see student faces that I know and some adults that I know, site supervisors and some former colleagues. Oh, my goodness. It's just nice to see everyone's face. Um, as Michael stated, my name is Sharon Shoy. I am the director of public engagement here in SPA. I am also a SPA alum. I'm so proud to, to, to say that. Um, on behalf of the Office of Public Engagement, my role is to connect faculty, staff, students, alumni, and our community partners together to where we can engage in um, beneficial collaborations, not just for the students, but also for the site supervisors who are here. We provide services to assist you in developing your organization. And my role is to work with organizations if they need to have an intern. Um, we offer workshops when the pandemic occurred. How do you host a virtual intern? And looks like everybody has gained that skill set successfully. There are so many faces here. For the students, please be mindful that we all believe in connecting our alumni to the students. I think that's one of the most important aspects in my role to because our alumni are amazing. There's so many opportunities that you can achieve with a degree in public administration or and or a master's degree. And so it's really important that I make sure our students have those connections. For an announcement, upcoming events, um, because that is the other thing that I do. We are returning to Rutgers. Our, our President Holloway has announced that come September, we are supposed to be face-to-face. -face. So Dean Minifield, the staff and faculty will be hosting a town hall on August 26th to answer all of your questions about, are you ready to return to Rutgers? So looking forward to seeing student faces again, but as well as to our site supervisors. Thank you. Thank you. Your job makes our job a lot easier by serving in that role, mentoring and giving them the experience. So when they leave us, they are gainfully employed or ready to run their own organization. Enjoy the rest of the evening, everyone. Thanks so much, Sharon. And that family doesn't stop there. It continues to grow. So I want to also take out this time because I know you've seen her name in a number of emails about the midterm evaluations. And we will be bugging you guys about the final evaluations that are coming up in a matter of just weeks. So I want to use this opportunity to introduce Alyssa LaPatriello, Assistant Dean for the Undergraduate Programs. And if also if she could just share a few words. Good afternoon slash evening, everyone. Um, I knew as soon as midterm evaluations were mentioned that Dr. Dillard had to be talking about me. Um, so I am Alyssa LaPatriello. As mentioned, I am the assistant dean for undergraduate programs. And, you know, really what my role is, is I would say multifaceted. You know, I'm working very closely with the students, overseeing the advising and helping getting them up and running in their internships. Um, so, you know, I will say that in being able to participate in events like this one, it's always very humbling. 
um, to hear what the students have been up to in their internships. And, you know, I think my colleagues have all said it really well that we're so thankful for the opportunities they've been provided through these internships throughout the summer. And I know they've been hard at work because I've gotten feedback from them um, and they're all very thankful as well. So I'm sure they're gonna be giving their praise throughout this presentation. Um, and, you know, I think that it's really great that we do carve out this time to honor what they've been up to. Um, and I think I would regret it if I didn't mention, because we're always going to have a whole new cohort coming in. If you have internships that you would like us to promote, please let us know. You know, we're happy to do that as well. So thank you all. And I love what Alyssa just mentioned. This is a continued uh, effort, you know, and it takes all of us. So we will be reaching out to you. We want you to stay on board. You know, we want to talk about, you know, possible upcoming internship opportunities and more importantly, paid internship opportunities. So I will be reaching out. Uh, let's see, I see another SPA family member. So I have to acknowledge her. Uh, Jane Sharp, who serves as our director for the Certified Public Management Program. And she also served as an internship site supervisor. So Jane, you wanna share a few words? You think I'd know when to unmute by now, right? Um, so thanks, Michael. I didn't prepare anything, but um, as I look on the screen, it's kind of interesting because one of the interns in the program is a CPM graduate, Brett Knoll. So I'm Brett, hello. Um, and then he finished up last year virtually um, with, C with CPM. But this summer I had Mike P with me and Cassandra, who I'm not sure if she's on. Um, being virtual interns um, with our program. And um, they play a really critical role for us. Our program is used to be all in person and now is all virtual and they have to come on and take attendance and do recordings and follow up with students. So, um, and over this past year, I've had nine undergraduates as my interns and it's been a great experience for me, hopefully a good experience for them as well. So thanks everybody for all you do to help us, thanks. Thanks so much, Jane. So now that I've introduced our spa family, really I want to get to, as I like to call it, the meat and the potatoes of it all. And so, you know, typically every semester we would have the students to present to spa faculty and staff, as well as the internship site supervisors in terms of what did they overall learn from their internship experience? How did they overall grow? Connecting the dots, connecting theory to practice. How has that internship opportunity allowed them to grow? What did they overall get out of that experience? Now, of course, obviously, I want to be a man of my word and end by seven o'clock. If I had every last student to present, we would be here past seven. So I wanted to select a handful of students that will briefly, briefly discuss their internship opportunity and what they got out of that experience. Uh, let's start with student Wendy. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Dillard. My name is Wendy Asante. I am a rising senior major in public and nonprofit administration with a minor in social justice. I am so excited to share my internship experience with you all. But before I dive into that, I'd like you to imagine a job which you find particularly refreshing. And I'm not talking about a Fortune 500 company where you end that six figure salary. I mean, although that would be nice, but I'm talking about the kind of job where you get to work with awesome people have supportive leaders who are down to earth, who know their stuff and are invested in your growth and success. A job with the people first culture, one which creates an inclusive environment for all irrespective of their background. That's the kind of experience I had interning at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York this summer. It was my dream internship. I worked with the people and engagement group as a talent acquisition analyst intern. I had the opportunity to work on diverse substantive projects throughout my experience. For the sake of time, I will highlight only a few. My internship kicked off with a social network project where I created a proposal with strategic approaches to involve employees in social media recruitment, promoting the bank's brand and presence. I made a few recommendations, including bank-wide social media campaigns and innovative strategies to promote the bank's culture, and ultimately attract top diverse talent. I also co-facilitated weekly soft skills training for about 17 sophomore interns 
to equip them with necessary skills, including resume and cover letter writing, interview skills, leverage in LinkedIn, business communication, and more to help them thrive in the workforce. I also identified and sourced viable candidates to fill critical roles at the bank, utilizing LinkedIn Recruiter and the Candidates Relationship Management System Telemetry. I utilized Handshake Recruiter to create segments which were used to launch campaigns to source diverse early talents. My internship, although virtual, I was able to hop on calls to ask questions whenever necessary. I was able to hold informal coffee chats, connect with employees in my group, and even some across the bank in other groups. Everyone I met was so approachable, warm, and welcoming. I found a work family with my team. On that note, I want to give a shout out to the early careers team at the bank. They are here on the call. Ajiba, Justin, Keisha, Caitlin, Alisa, I appreciate you all for everything you taught me. I want to give special thanks to my manager, Tori, for her coaching and guidance and mentorship. She's amazing. Last but not least, I want to give special thanks to the professor of the hour. I loved how Professor Dillard was always ready to offer his expert advice and encouragement. This class particularly provided a space for me and other students to share our experiences and fortify one another. I trust that everyone had a fulfilling internship experience. I mean, this is where I should be having that bittersweet feeling, but that's not the case for me. After a successful internship, I have accepted an offer to join the New York Fed in a few weeks as a contingent talent acquisition coordinator. I am so thrilled to have another opportunity to learn from these exceptional world-class professionals at an institution that is at the core and heart of public service. I'm hoping to grow and develop my skills in human resources. Thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Wendy, and thanks so much. All right, without further ado, let's begin with Darius. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darius Benlis. My major is public administration. My minor is Spanish, and I will be graduating this May 2022. My goal is to get accepted into the accelerated master's program uh, here at SPA. This summer, I had the pleasure of interning at the Urban League of Essex County as a real estate associate. I wanted to thank my site supervisor, Mr. Darren Sharif, for giving me the opportunity to intern with the Urban League, for taking the time to talk to me, instruct me, and introduce me to other valuable change agents within the Urban League. Mr. Sharif is the Chief Administrative Officer and the Director of the Urban League's Tech House. I also wanna thank my professor for this course, Dr. Michael Dillard, for encouraging me and guiding me on how to make the most out of this internship experience. My chief focus during this internship was a property assessment of the Fairmount Heights neighborhood of Newark. This included walking through each and every block and taking pictures and documenting the addresses of all the vacant properties and vacant lots in the area. We are also currently working on transferring this data onto a map so it can be easily legible and understood. What was extremely exciting about this project for me was learning how this data would help the Urban League from a community development perspective to make effective lasting change in the community. Mr. Sharif informed me that this data will be shared with a community investment partner, Wells Fargo, in their next quarterly meeting to assess the real estate temperature of the community. This data will determine what the next moves should be for investors of community development in the area. I wanted to talk about SPA and how it has prepared me for this internship and my career. In the summer of 2018, I studied in Tanzania, East Africa through the Rutgers SPA International Leadership Exchange Program with Professor Clayton Welton. We met with a plethora of organizations that explained not only the social challenges of the country, but what was being done to alleviate them. The main thrust of the program was to identify positive organizations and figure out how we can improve upon them to better service their community. I took that knowledge and I presented an idea at my job at Rutgers Behavioral Health Center where we could give a more well-rounded services to the youth that we service. My bosses loved it and they presented the idea to the director of the program, Mitchell Douglas. I'm saying all of that to say that the SPA curriculum at Rutgers has given me an immense comprehension of public and nonprofit organizations and how they interact with the community to create social change. 
That understanding was demonstrated in this internship while walking around the North community. When I walked past abandoned or burned down buildings this past summer, I was readily equipped with a history and understanding of why this building was uh, burned down and abandoned so many years ago. I also learned through this internship that if you wanna help a community, you should first walk through each and every block and engage the community. This practice will give you a very intimate understanding of the community that you wanna help. Combined with the education that SPA has given me about Nork, walking through Fairmount Heights has helped me get a more well-rounded and intimate understanding of the community. This is something that all of the literature in the world cannot quite capture, and it is something that we as change agents must do. To conclude, I just wanna say that SPA has equipped me with so much knowledge about social change, and this internship complemented that knowledge by providing the practices by which social change is accomplished. Thank you. Thanks so much, Darius. I'll turn it over to Mabel. Hello, everyone. My name is Mabel Adu, and I am a rising senior with a major in public and nonprofit administration and a minor in Nana's Living Learning Community. I am currently interning at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey as a summer diversity and inclusion analyst. Today, I have here with me my site supervisor, Marilyn Feliz, and I just want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to you, Marilyn. Thank you for your guidance and mentorship. And one thing that I really appreciate is you including me in almost everything. Not, and not just asking about my ideas, but implementing them in the projects as well. You believed in me and you made me feel seen. Thank you so much, Marilyn. As a summer diversity and inclusion analyst, my goal is to maximize opportunities for small women, minority and disadvantaged businesses in order to build, to bridge the world, of, the world gap in our society. I've worked on several projects, such as communicating with members of our mentor protege programs about solicitations. I've also conducted two studies to gather information on businesses' experience with working with the Port Authority to devise ways to improve our programs. I've performed outreach to minority-owned firms and helped plan events to analyze the inequality in bids on contracts. I've also reconciled demographic errors in our database. And most recently, I underwent training from the National Highway Institute and received a certification for the DBE ACDBE program. Even though my internship comes to an end in a few weeks, my personal and professional development does not end. I plan on joining the American Society of Public Administration, participate in programs on and outside of campus to continue building and leveraging my skills that will help me to land a strong first job upon graduation, as we all dream of. I know that SPA faculty and staff will help me to achieve this dream and also I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to Dr. Delat because this class proved to be very therapeutic. It was great to meet once a week and discuss everything with our, with our peers. We were able to talk, um, talk about things that we wouldn't necessarily talk about on our internship sites and provide um, advice when needed. So I really enjoyed this class and I want to say a very big thank you to Dr. Delat and the SPA faculty for putting this together. Thanks so much. Great job, Mabel. I'll turn it over to student Brett. Hi, everyone. My name is Brett Knoll. I am the Director of Public Works in Hamilton Township, Atlanta County. Currently, and as Jane said, I am a 2020 uh, graduate of the Certified Public Managers Program. And I decided to take the credits that I earned in that program and jump back into student life here at uh, Rutgers Newark. I'm trying to finish up a degree in public administration. Hopefully I can graduate in uh, fall of 2022. So um, part of this program is the internship. I was, I, you know, I was a little worried about it, but uh, I jumped in with um, Engineering Design Associates and it's a civil engineering firm in um, Cape May County, New Jersey. Um, my title is Intern Construction Inspector. And my site supervisor is Steve Philippon. He's a professional engineer, a professional planner. He's got 30 years of experience in the field. He's actually the founder of the firm. So um, I've had a lot of hands-on um, experience in the last couple of weeks with Steve. And um, it's actually pretty exciting jumping in. And um, 
you know, getting my hands around engineering. It, it's, it was one of my goals when I graduated high school um, to become an engineer. And uh, life kind of took took a different, you know, took a different path for me. And I ended up in a blue collar um, atmosphere and uh, worked my way up through the ranks, up to director. And um, hopefully this internship is going to give me some new skill sets to uh, possibly get me into um, an administrative role, maybe township administrator, or who knows, maybe uh, um, a job as, as an engineer in the future. So I just want to thank Steve, his firm, all the partners there. Um, the experience has been excellent, and I hope to continue um, after the internship ends and um, keep in contact and just keep moving forward. Thank you, and I want to also thank Dr. Dillard for his his uh, motivation. I've, I've actually had him in two other courses now, and uh, it's been great. Thank you. Thanks so much, Brett. Great job. And last but certainly not least, student Taylor. Good evening, everyone. It's great to see everyone's faces again. My name is Taylor Watson. I am going to be a senior this upcoming school year, majoring in public administration and nonprofit management with a minor in political science. This summer, I had one of the greatest opportunities to intern with Amazon as an area manager intern. Alongside, I work with my manager, Nav. Um, throughout my internship, I have basically mirrored the typical day-to-day -day task of a regular um, manager at Amazon. Um, my project focused on optimizing something that Amazon calls a lane layout in order to send most of like our volume out through something called fluid load. Um, I worked with a lot of people with data analysts, networking. A lot of the people I've worked with are actually Rutgers students. So it's great to see some people that I've seen on campus. Um, I definitely say that this internship has granted me a lot of skill sets that I probably wouldn't have learned anywhere else. I've had previous internships in nonprofit management, but I really wanted to dip my toes into something different with management and see if that's something that I wanted to do post-grad. So I feel like this internship really has provided me with some skills that I could take further down the line. And I feel like I wouldn't be as successful, successful as I am with um, without this internship if it wasn't because of my manager and now he's providing me with so much skills that I'm able to take along the way and he's helped me grow as a manager. So I'm very grateful for my experience. Thanks so much, Joe. Oh, and I would definitely have to say thank you to um, Dean Manyfield and Dr. Lloyd for always being a support system that I could always go to and talk to if I need any advice for anything. They've been really beneficial and pointing me in the right steps. So I just want to say thank you. Final answer, Taylor? Yes. I guess so, <laughs> final answer. All right, so thanks and great job, Taylor. So I want to you know, use this as a wonderful opportunity to also open it up to our internship site supervisors. I can't obviously forget about you. You've played that key critical role in terms of mentoring and guiding and holding our students account accountable. Uh, so I wanna be able to hear from some of your experiences, maybe two or three of you, just if you can briefly just share some of your experience in terms of how this opportunity has impacted you. What did you learn from this opportunity also? So I'll go first, um, sure. Dr. Miller. So I, so I, you know, was lucky. I mean, I was born and raised in Newark. I went to the best Rutgers and that's um, Rutgers Newark campus. And then I had the privilege of a lifetime to represent the Central Ward, which um, Rutgers Newark is in. And when I ran for office, when I was in office, I always said the most valuable resource that Newark has um, are the students um, in higher education. And it really just confirmed, right, how brilliant these students are and how important it is in their academic um, pursuits to really engage in Newark. And like Darius said, um, you can find a notebook of what he experienced through this internship. And this experience that he had, whatever his professional journey becomes, it really will be um, formed a little bit by what he's learned with us. Um, we're a 104 year organization and we literally are on the front lines and to really have a young man um, like Darius with his seriousness and sense of um, purpose really join our team and to kind of roll up his sleeves and get his hands dirty. It meant the world to us. And he's indicated that um, whatever he goes on to, he wants to stay connected and tethered to the work that we do at the league. 
And so I say to all the interns, congratulations to you and what your experience was. I hope it will inform what you do and how you think about um, the world outside of what your uh, occupation will be um, during your career journey. And so Dr. Zillow, you and I, we go back a long way. I've had the privilege to talk to two or three of um, your classes and every single time I was impressed with the students. And so Rutgers um, graduates and graduates to be, you make me proud. And it really just says that I picked the right school to um, get my training and it really has helped me at the Urban League of Essex County. So thank you all, congratulations. Thanks so much, Darren. And you know, I have to give kudos and a shout out to you as well, though, because anytime I've called on you, uh, you know, you've been right there assisting our students, offering career advice, you know, offering internship related advice, uh, having students to come over to your office at the time, you know, to meet and talk with you. Uh, so it's just been a great opportunity. And that's exactly what it takes that mentoring and guidance along the way. Uh, let's see here, Dr. Davis. Yes, uh, good, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is uh, Damian Davis, Dr. Davis, and uh, I had the overwhelming pleasure of working with and supervising uh, Josh Nelly Orby, who uh, worked uh, with me within my office. I work at Bergen Community College, uh, and I'm the director of the College Bridge there at Bergen. And within the College Bridge program is the Summer Intensive Program, uh, which is a program designed to help high school students become college ready uh, with regards to meeting their math and writing competencies, uh, which is uh, an initiative that comes through uh, Governor Murphy and uh, New Jersey uh, Council of County Colleges. And Josh Nelly uh, worked with students who uh, needed that uh, additional uh, assistance, help, uh, academic support in helping uh, these students who are near the end of their high school uh, career as they transition into uh, college, higher ed, to get them ready for meeting that academic rigor. And so uh, as a peer leader within uh, the program, she provided all of the support, the encouragement, uh, bringing her expertise as a college student herself, uh, becoming really a mentor to the students, helping them to understand what it means to be in college and how to begin to act and think like a successful college student. And when I tell you, Josh Nelly, um, once again, is just a perfect example of that. Uh, extremely, extremely professional, extremely insightful, and above all, just very encouraging and positive. Uh, and she brought that every day and has been able to make those uh, essential connections with those students to inspire those students to push them through, uh, particularly during this rough time that a lot of students are having uh, with the pandemic and virtual learning she's been able to uh, establish those connections and really uh, inspire students to get through. So I just want to thank Josh Nelly publicly. I want to thank the program Rutgers. Thank you for giving these opportunities for not just Josh Nelly, but students as a whole. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks, uh, Dr. Davis, and great job, Josh Nelly. I want to just you know use this as an opportunity to stop right there and just simply say to all of our amazing interns, it doesn't necessarily stop at this particular moment. Although the course is coming to an end, this is really just simply the beginning. You've had that opportunity to explore different types of career paths in the field of public administration. Often at times when students say to me, well, you know, hey, I'm thinking about you know pursuing a career in the nonprofit world not knowing perhaps that there's so many opportunities in the nonprofit world, whether it, depending upon the industry, uh, depending upon exactly what you want to do in the nonprofit world, whether it's finance, whether it's HR, whether it's program development, whether it's grant writing, you name it. The sky is overall the limit. So what do I mean by it doesn't necessarily just stop there? You stay in contact, continuous contact with your internship site supervisors. These are the same wonderful individuals that might be able to write a letter of recommendation for graduate school. These are the same ones that will be able to continue 
to assist you as it relates to your overall career development, because it truly is a development. And it doesn't necessarily just stop once you finish the degree, whether it's an undergraduate degree or a master's. That career development continues to go on. The challenges will continue to arise. And you want to be prepared for it. And I'm confident and know for sure that you will be prepared. But more importantly, not even just to stop it from there, you can capture that wonderful information and things that you've been able to accomplish at your individual internship sites on your resumes, on your cover letters. You know, the internship site supervisors, they can also assist you in a number of other ways, too, from mock interviews. I mean, you name it. That's really what it's about. So it's not just simply remotely or in person reporting to a site and capturing the hours and completing those 150 hours for the evaluation process and for the final grade. Yeah, the final grade is coming, but it's what do you do once the course comes to a complete end and that internship experience comes to an overall end? I thank the students overall. Not only did you do this obviously for a grade, but you entrusted in me. And I've had the opportunity to work with a number of you in a number of courses throughout your academic career and journey. And I've learned a lot from you. You've inspired me. That's what education is all about. It's not just simply teaching, but it's also how can I learn from your experiences? How can you challenge me to do a better job? I thank all of the internship site supervisors for taking out the time from your busy schedule to sit on this Zoom call and just, again, making a difference with our students. And I want to also thank the SPA family. Uh, you've worked all day. You've been working with students all day. But the fact that you also joined in on this call, thank you. Thank you and thank you. Uh, this session will come to an end. Please feel free to keep in touch with us community partners as the fall semester is coming up as it relates to uh, upcoming or you know, internship opportunities that you may uh, be you know, in search of or in need of or would like to offer to our students. Then again, it doesn't stop from here. Thank you so much. This call will come to an end. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy your night, everyone. Take care. Bye. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good night. Absolutely. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night.